what is called method. Originally, it's designed from necessity, which I got the, in my teachings in the university with the track and field events. And um, it was a, a problem related with very uh, un in imprecise or very vague description of um, movements which still uh, uh, around until now in many events, uh, in sport events. And uh, this desire to leave this stage of um, uncertainty of how to recommend or how to teach movement brought me to the necessity to develop method which will be uh, helpful to be precise and at the same time efficient in um, using this uh, to teaching movement. And uh, <coughs> uh, besides this was um, a very big question of how to deal uh, with uh, environmental factors which is about gravity and how to incorporate all forces into one system, how to bring clarity of movement for the um, coach when he is teaching uh, the movement and uh, how to bring clarity for the student who are learning this and uh, again it was a desire to avoid any uncertainty of um, description of movement and uh, understanding of movement and pose by itself means a very simple thing as it, as it is pose that any movement goes through um, many different poses and some of them we call key poses or poses which basically form this movement what we see in running as you know it's only one pose in some other events it could extend for a uh, little more poses like in high jumping it's three poses um, and um, it came from the question how in some events um, as a karate for example teaching uh, was so uh, efficient and the movement was so graceful and very uh, precise and this question around uh, this um, sport event was long time like flowing in the air with me until one day when uh, I found that it's all about poses and we are moving through poses and we are teaching by poses, by selected poses, which we call key poses. And um, what pose allows to us, it allows us to avoid any unnecessary movements, unnecessary force using in, 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 in incorrect position or incorrect uh, amount and uh, allows us to be honest with the nature and how to interact with, without any uh, psycho-emotional description of movement and uncertainty of the description like trying to feel good or feel uh, this movement besides this uh, nothing pose has no anything like that it's free from emotional description it's a movement based on very simple things is body weight which incorporated into pose how to perceive it and how to use it and it's a very clear picture for everyone who learning and for everyone who teaching there is no uncertainty with teaching things which are clear for body and clear for mind and this allows us to reduce time for teaching tremendously which uh, all my experience are uh, confirming and it allows um, 
a student pass from beginning to the advance in very short period of time and allows the student to really understand movement by his perception and his mind there is no or any movements going beyond of this frame with what we call pose frame of in later on as a method of teaching uh, bring you into the integration with nature allows you to accumulate forces as a one single system and bring it together to promote your movement and make it more efficient and more effective so pose method it's a way of dealing with nature and the first thing of course coming with gravity how to consume it and how to accumulate and how to channel or redirect and this is what all allows us to be more efficient and the, and the final point the injury free and uh, makes you move more free and uh, more precise and allows you to go with this discovery of yourself and your movement basically endless so you can try it yourself and you will get out of this most what you want as much as your desire will be with you thank you this is our topic for today